Third. A very bright and cheerful morning to one and all. There is loud clamor everywhere. Since the new motor vehicle act has been introduced, there is a noticeable resentment among people of all age groups. So, in today's debate session, we will be going to discuss is increasing fines or penalties justified as per the new motor vehicle law. So, let's meet Vaj Kumar Singh from Class 7E, who will be going to speak in favor of motion. And meet Rashi from Class 7B, who will be going to speak against the motion. So, firstly, over to you, Vaj. Thank you. Firstly, I would like to start with a few lines. Don't walk upon your own life like a careless toddler. Don't hit it with punches of adventure and thrill like a merciless boxer. Imposing fines and penalties is justified to ensure safety of lives. Traffic rules on roads are must to escape from pain and strife. Honorable members of jury, teachers and, and my dear friends, a very warm and bright morning. And I must add a safe road with travel to you. Some of you might wonder why I added this fear inculcating phrase. That's why I am here and heartily obliged to get this privilege to speak in favor of is by increasing fines and penalties as per the new motor vehicle act justified. There was a lot of hue and cry all around when there was an increase in fines and penalties as per the new motor vehicle act. Many youngsters transformed into great rebels. Some of them got so infuriated when imposed fines for negligence of traffic rules that they set their own vehicle on fire before traffic police. Sorry for interrupting much, but here I would like to ask a question. Do you think it is right to be afraid of such rebels when it comes to the safety of all? Well, for this I would advise to implement the law under a very planned strategy okay. rather than bringing it into effect immediately to avoid such violence. Okay, thanks much. Now you can carry on. Further, I would like to say many political parties try to roast this issue for fulfilling their mean goals. Even social media was taken into help to mock the guidelines given under this act. Such a rage was there that the act had nothing to do with their safety, but it was only another way to add on to the treasure of the government. For all those ignorant people, I have a report recently studied by Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways. According to it, 57 accidents and 400 deaths are reported every hour in our country. Can you imagine? If we Indians are so careless for practicing traffic rules for our own safety, then I think imposing heavy fines and penalties is only way to instill responsible behavior among them. Besides, money can orient any mind to any desirable degree, can't it? Hence, we should welcome heavy fines and penalties for our own safety. At last, I would like to conclude with Safety is must before negligence turns life into dust. Thank you. Well said, Munch. Now see what Rashi has to say. A very bright, colorful, and pleasant blessed morning to Judy, teachers, and my dear friend. It is undoubtedly a great privilege to be here to speak against. It's the increasing of fine and penalties as per new. The motor vehicle are like justified. I feel my dear opponent has not witnessed the bitter reality hidden behind this so called. Safety Ensuring Act, the new Motor Vehicle Act. I too favor safety but would strictly condemn the increase of fines and penalties as per new Motor Vehicle Act. In the name of safety, the traffic police exploits people in a shameful way. The implementation of this act is not justified in a country where people come from different economical section. This act is just a, imposed upon people without considering its pros and cons. Many shoppers burst into tears when they came to know that the fine is charged from them is much more than the rent of their rickshaw. Many of such victims went into deep depression to think how they would meet the needs of their family in the absence of the only means that is their rickshaw. My dear opponent believes that money orients family mind to a desirable degree. Yes, it is true, but it is then also true if it orients the mind who is look for one or other opportunity to get money under this act. There Sorry Rashi for interrupting, but here I would like to ask a question. Yes. Could you suggest any another alternatives to make people practice ideal behavior on roads? Yes, there may be some other justified ways like keeping their vehicles in custody for days, short to long imprisonment, traffic rules awareness programs, etc. Thanks Rashi, now you can carry on. Okay, at last, I would like to conclude with Fines and penalties cannot be changed. 
exchange as it will increase only the bells in exchange the bells in exchange both the participants have done well thank you